Um, uh, we're going to go now uh, to the issue of fundraising, uh, both specific to this cause and in general for the progressive movement and getting our funding uh, switched over to grassroots organizing. And we have two really, really great figures uh, in this uh, sector, uh, John Steiner, uh, who's out in Colorado, and Camilla Reese, who's in Rhode Island, uh, who've been with us from the start and have been really, really great. We did put in the invitation a, a, a summary of the funding, uh, uh, the overview uh, of the need for it for these calls. And uh, but it's been a pleasure to work with John and Camille on these issues. And um, I'll go ahead, both of you, please. We'll go to the top of the hour and then we'll go to our Middle East discussion. So uh, uh, take it away, John and or Camilla. Thank you, Harvey. And I'll start and then Camilla will come on. So just greetings to everybody on this call. I think each of us, Harvey, you call great whenever you introduce one of us. So I'm glad to be part of the great team that's on every week. And the other thing I would say is what follows is an unpaid political announcement. And this is really on behalf of GREEP. Um, and as Harvey alluded to, part of what we're doing is helping other groups raise money, but this, this one's for us. So I've been part of a small team that's been meeting on behalf of financially supporting you, Harvey, and your team that does great work on putting on these calls every week. And as you wrote in the great piece, in your announcement today, and which we're gonna send out to everyone as an attachment. And Stephen, if it's possible, could you put that in chat um, or just refer back to what Harvey sent out this morning? We need to raise close to $60,000 for next year, which allows Harvey, Wendy Lederman, Stephen Caruso, and Mike Hirsch to be reasonably and fairly compensated for their good work each week on our behalf. And we're looking to raise half of that starting today and going into early January. And we're hoping that a prior donor to GREEP will be able to match that. So to that end, and in that spirit, that money follows relationship and our own kind of informal GoFundMe campaign, we're inviting everyone on the call to make a donation of any amount. And Steve, could you again put the uh, donation piece in the chat? And then to invite you to reach out to others you might know who might also be willing to chip in. We're also going to follow this up with an email to everyone on Harvey's list. So, Camilla, would you add a little bit to that and fill out sure. a few contours? Yeah. So, um, well, what we're trying to do is leverage all of our contacts and Harvey's contacts to support this fabulous forum going forward. And uh, they really deserve it. And um, it's always a good thing if we can say that a certain percentage of the participants are uh, uh, support it. So even the smallest amount to show your, you know, in support would be helpful. And then the second thing is, you know, who do you know who could give a hundred dollars? Who do you know who give a thousand or more? And understand that um, sometimes it's easier to be a fundraiser for other people instead of for yourself. At least that's what I've found. And, but in this case, it's actually kind of an opportunity as I see it, because we're not just asking for money, we're educating, we're giving them value, we're telling them about these calls, and then and they can participate or listen live or on the recordings, and they can share it with their constituents, their friends, their people. Um, so it's, there's real value here. That it, so I would say, if there are people that you can think of that might be donors, approach approach them with from a place of real abundance and not scarcity because these calls are valuable. They are really unique. And um, in fact, one of our members, uh, one of our group, um, David Saltman, he's been in the news business for many years. He told me once that he gets more, uh, more information, more valuable information here than in the mainstream news. You know, so there's real value here and we'd like more people to know about it, support it, and we'd really appreciate everybody's help in any way that you can. Thank you, well, Camille. Thank you the that. only thing that Camille and I would add to that, if there are any, if there's anybody on the call who might be able to take us to a major donor, however we define that, it could even be a few hundred bucks, and you would like us to approach them on your behalf, please let us know, and one of us on the team will get back to you or to them. I'll put my email uh, address in the chat when we're done here. 
And then Mike Hirsch, would you just come on and kind of elaborate what Harvey has put into this incredible document of what you have seen as just the extraordinary value that we all get to these calls each week? Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll be very brief, but I, I really hope everybody pays attention. This is not just information, although it absolutely is. You'll get information from these Zooms that you probably will not get 99.9% um, .9 of other places. Rare information from eyewitnesses, people on the front lines, whether they're battling to free Julian Assange or whether it's Stephen Donziger himself talking about his own travails. You'll hear from leaders of organizations like the National Organization for Women. You'll hear um, from authors who have cutting edge books with exciting information. But beyond all the information that you're getting, which is great, we're also the connective tissue for the nonpartisan, non-affiliated, progressive movement. We bring people together who, you know, Harvey always says this, you guys, if you don't know each other, you should. And next thing you know, they're working together. It's like instant uh, coalition, just add uh, Harvey, because he brings people together. Um, and the one that leaps to mind is Andrea Miller, who's one of our favorites, and, and Ray McClendon, who's another one of our favorites. And they come on. And another thing that's different about this, some shows you'll hear from somebody every few months. We have some of the top leaders, some of the, the, the most intelligent, um, effective organizers in the country that come on week after week after week because we're helping to organize organizers. And Ray and Andrea are a perfect example of that. They were both doing everything that they could in their most tremendous ways to um, get out the vote in Georgia because with a higher turnout, we get better elected officials. I'm not gonna make any partisan statements about that. It just, it's just a fact of life. And Ray and Andrew were both doing great work together. I mean, apart, but when they came on to this show, we put them together. They got to know each other. And because both of them are consummate organizers, they immediately saw the value in working together. They started working together and good things happened. And that is the value added that this Zoom with Harvey Wassman, he's going to be very modest and say he's just a, a, a guy joking around and telling stories and making his uh, observations. But don't let him fool you. He's been doing this all his life. He's been constructing movements where movements were needed. And this is the latest and greatest effort where he can sit there and, um, you know, put his teeth in, <laughs> roll up his <laughs> sleeves and get down to work. And in his kind and wise and thoughtful way, he is making a big impact without, you know, without uh, making a big fuss about it at all. And we're all part of it. Everybody who comes to these Zooms, we're all part of it. We're all suggesting guests, guests like Keith Ellison, uh, Jim Hightower, um, my own state senator, Jeff Waldstriker. I saw him the other day and he was so happy. He said, I was so shocked to see how many people were on the Zoom. There aren't that many Zooms where there's more than just a handful of people anymore. He said he was getting uh, flashbacks to the, uh, the, the depths of, of the pandemic. And I said, yeah, but you don't have to get tested after <laughs> a grief Zoom. But he was, he, you know, this is somebody who's been in um, government for 16 years. This will be going into his 17th year. And he had never seen anything like it. He's been working and active in Maryland, and we gave him a crash course on the precarious nuclear reactor in Maryland. Yeah, he'd heard about it, but we made it a priority for him. These are the kinds of things that happen on this Zoom. Maybe it happens somewhere else, but I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen movements created in real time, week after week after week, movements that actually go out and get things done. And we are gonna close down Diablo Canyon. 
We are going to close down these other nuclear reactors. And when we do, it's going to be because of this Zoom. And we're not only going to do that, we're going to do a whole bunch of other things. We're going to close down Cop City. We're going to fight for free speech and journalism. And we know this because the guests who come on here tell us that we will. So we're going to do it. But we can't keep doing it without your support. So please, you know, I sound like a pledge drive here. But that's one thing uh, Sluggo insisted that we not do. But um, we're going to make an exception as we get into the holidays. Dig deep, pitch in, keep doing, keep us doing, and all of us, not just Sluggo, not just the guests, not just the uh, the moderators, but everybody on this Zoom. Keep us empowered. Keep us focused. And Milo just said we're not going to take all the credit. No, we're not. But we're going to do what we can. And considering our shoestring budget and the fact that we meet for a couple hours and then sometimes a little longer than that each week, um, we are the mouse that roared. We, we are the voice of the people. We are people power at work. And we're the most democratic way of doing things, small d, most progressive way of doing things. Big P. And um, so P can also stand for pitch in. We really need your help. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mike. Uh, that's beautiful. Thank you, John and Camilla. Um, uh, Har Harvey, we're almost done. Not quite. One more thing. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, Mike, again, yes, thank you. Nobody could have said it better. And Stephen Caruso, if we could, if it's possible to edit just what we have been talking about, that's something, A, we can have available to everybody on the call to support all of you in your efforts, and we can send it out to the whole list. So we can talk about that when we're offline. But mostly on behalf of the team and Harvey, continued great work, and we're here to support you. Thank you so much. I really, We all really appreciate uh, uh, Camilla, did, did you want to add in before we move on? Okay. Yep. It, the, the link to donate is in the chat. And as is the recently polished and finalized Greep document that Harvey wrote. It's great. great. Well, thank you both, John and Camilla. And thank you, of course, uh, Mike. You guys have been really above and beyond. So I will tell you the story. When we first started, I had no consciousness of raising money. And um, uh, I got a call really early, you know, two, two and a half years ago, uh, a friend of mine from Greenpeace had uh had tuned into the calls i don't even know how he got to us uh i'll leave him unnamed and he asked me he called me and asked me if we wanted twenty five thousand dollars and i said well yeah i guess that'd be all right and so uh that's how we wound up with steve caruso wendy lederman and mike hirsch so um if you folks know funders uh that that's really a big piece of it uh to, i know a lot of you are just uh, grassroots activists, but if you know funders and can put us on their lists, it is before the end of the year, and that would be helpful. I will add also that in the funding world, one of the um, major <clears throat> motivating issues that we've been dealing with all these calls on these calls is to switch progressive funding in uh, elections from media buys to grassroots campaigning. And this is one of the, uh, you know, we consider ourselves a grassroots group. And we've had Andrea, as Mike uh, mentioned, Andrea Miller and Ray McClendon, uh, who were unified uh, or put together by this call, but also really have committed and laid the groundwork for what's going to be especially important in 24, which is to get prog any progressive money going into elections away from uh, party media buys and into democracy centers and relational organizing and all the other stuff that made the difference in, in Georgia in 2020, 21, and 22. And now Camilla and John and I, uh, along with Mike and Wendy and Steve and others have been, and Joel Siegel especially, Joel really, who thankfully is with us today, has been one of the great pioneers in this. If anybody has given us the guidance to uh, understand the need to switch uh, from media campaigning to grassroots campaigning, it's been the great Joel Siegel. So really glad to have you with us. And we also have Maya <clears throat> um, Van Rossen, who's done the, the Green um, Amendments. One of the things we intend to do in the coming year, 
uh, with with John and uh, Camilla's guidance and also Joel and and Mike is to make this a big campaign issue in the progressive community so that people understand that money going to media buys is a waste and uh, uh, and money going to a relational and democracy center organizing is really what's going to make the difference as it did by the way in 2020 and 22. So there you go. Thank you so much, John and Camilla. Thank you for, for, for making me want making me do that. We did put up a, a piece that if you can circulate, if you have to know a millionaire here or there to help support us, and we do pass money on. We actually passed a lot of money on in 2020 uh, when uh, we, we, we first came on the scene and started talking about uh, grassroots relational organizing, and it did make a difference, actually. So if people want to consider that, uh, we, we do appreciate it. Okay? Thank you so much. 